See, that's why I said I like how Buhari came to speak. So that people will stop speaking to us, telling us body language. Now you can, well, I will not dissect in this speech. This is how civilized environments are run. You know, it's not a sign language. So I hope more of this will happen and people can take their cues. I see genuineness in his speech. What do you see? The I see role? genuineness in his heart. Trying to turn the economy, trying to turn Nigeria around. Tell us However, about the strategy. You know, tell yeah. us about the role that you see the private sector playing to ensure this budget goes through. Let me let me let me put it this way. When um, one of the ladies was contested for the presidency of America, was asked the question, "Do you how, do, how can we force the private sector to partner with government to ensure?" that uh, um, terrorists are tracked through technology which is owned by the U.S. anyway or, or the West. She said, you don't need to force them. All you need to do is to ask them. The private sector, these are smart people. They went to school for, to be smart, the best. The moment you speak, they will take their directions. The moment you are not speaking, they will hold their fire. It's a simple principle in the economy. So what do you think they're doing now? So what they're doing now is to dissect what they're going to do. Government is going to invest in power. So you're going to see, see them take positions. A couple of the IPPs that Papa Shazana Buta have been sold. I expect the states to begin to do the same. And I expect all this greed you're seeing all over Nigeria to be you play low, so and better power, so that we can... Those, those are the critical areas that, you know, government should say, you know, we are, we are up and can give... Um, what they call guarantees, so that you know the partner, the partner should those areas. Uh, I, government will fund SMEs because they want to uh, um, in, uh, make sure that more of, of our people uh, here that the last count is about 34 million, you know, now SMEs, uh, mm -hmm. you know. So they need, to, if they all work, if the system is deflated and what they produce are purchased, the system will deflate. You know, in a short, in a shorter way, and that, that that can also solve the unemployment. Oh yeah, that's the see. Listen, when you speak, say you say unemployment, unemployment. I honestly, it's vague. It's very very vague. But if you begin to do, if you begin to say, you know what, I want to do vocational education, which he said it's going to do. That means you're going to suck in those that just like they said, those that didn't go to school. I'm going to, you're going to be. If you say you want to produce about say you want to produce about one million, one million artisans in a particular period. They will be sucked into the system of, of real estate. You know, uh, um, uh, if you're going to remember the the, the, the the local local content issue when government began to invest in in training um, welders under under welders, that's a major source of income for a lot of countries. They they import the human resource export from those countries to but, come but and that's just on the one sub -sea, hand. Sub -sea. There's so several other... If you deal with critical, okay. the critical sectors, you might tell you it's a, jo it's a ball juggling kind of thing. That's why it must be a lot. You must have a team that is prepared that would not, they don't want to sleep. They don't want people coming to explain to you. You know, for the, I, I just saw him looking now forward. All along I've been thinking he's been looking at the side mirror and the rear mirror, which is okay, but now Let's 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 set it out there. I wish I mean Nigeria has we need to move forward. Unfortunately, we just need to move forward. If not, you're gonna have a crisis in your hands. If you don't reflect this system, take it as a prediction, you will have a crisis. You know, you know, hands. you know, you're making the players come in and uh, you know with all boldness so that uh, uh, any kind of fears of uncertainty doesn't really come with such uh, entrant. What can the government do? Because it comes to the environment. You have to make it conducive. Uh, when you speak, they just want to see that the environment is conducive. Uh, your word is your bond. Uh, not that you go flip-flop on your word and uh, make them look so sorry at the end of the day. So how can you, how can the government, what, what is it that the government will do for them to say, this is uh, an okay for us to get in. Government must understand that they are drivers of the economy and there are partners for growth and for economic development. You have to partner with local and you have to partner with the global. So when you see people come and invest here, and, and, and I'm here to make comments that bother on how regulators engage those who are already here. They are your ambassadors. No matter what you say on CNN, what GE says, and of course you know these people, Nova Coffee, they will just say things that you won't believe. 
you will talk to you tomorrow, they will just, they will just they will take in their position. What GE says about this country is more important than what anybody says on television. What MTN says of this country is more important than what anybody else says to any South African who wants to come here. So my take here is government must see this world as partners. Cut deals with these guys. We are going to give you this incentive. But hire my people. And don't break the law. If even if you break the law, this is a penalty up front. They'll be aware. So the point I'm making here is that the, the, we cannot work in, at, at cross purposes. You are not, you are not, you, you know, it is a, it's a symbiosis where you benefit and not benefit. Your people benefit. You can run a very strong government and you don't have a quality people. Very possible. Because your concentration is on your administration rather than the, on, on the people. If it's on the people, you, your, your administration may take a hit because you may slow down. On, you know, that way you can reflect the same by getting more non, or non oil revenue and slowing down your expenses on your welfare this agenda. Do you think maybe Nigeria is actually growing right now? Or we're just uh, uh, assessing our uh, performance? It's not growing. It's not, growing. It's not, not at growing. all. Look, it's not strategic now. I thought you said this budget is it's not no, no, this, is, this is a budget. You know, budget is an estimate, funding of your strategy. That's what the budget is. You, you don't see it grow. Uh, so, so the point I'm making is estimate. until this is this will be, by six months we begin three months we begin to know the complexion. We will see what is going to go. You know, I I see integrity here, and that's key because one of the challenges we've had in the past is the non-implementation of budgets. You know, going back to your question of uh, made in Nigeria, what, what, what is it by mouth? It must be strategic. It must be linked. Everything must be linked together. And the moment it's linked together, everything will play. If you say you want your people hired, you do bring laws that enable them to be hired. If you want, you, you, you want the SMEs to work, we will be seeing you fix the power. The railway will be working. The roads will be, you know, you know. When, the, when you see this do, when you see them do it, when you see government doing this, then of course, like a signal, the guys will say, okay, maybe these guys are serious. But when you say you are doing Lagos Ibadan Express Road, and people pass there, and all the, what you're seeing are uh, nothing. If it, oh. What you're seeing does not correlate oh. with what you're doing. <laughs> so we're trusting that in this administration, there will be yeah. a strategy to drive communication with action. That way, we will get out of this jam. It is not rocket science. That are, it right. has been done in the past in some places, and it can be done here. All right, then, Pascal Odibo is a business and financial consultant. Thank you for your time today. Uh, and on the light note, he said that analogy that Fashola gave, when you have a willing buyer, <laughs> you always have a willing seller. <laughs> and then remember Claudio Ranieri, you know, Leicester is on top of the Premier League right now. He says no amount of money can buy uh, Vares. Uh, Mares and um, Vardy. Mm. And I thought, look, if he sees the money. He hasn't, he hasn't seen the money. <laughs> he seen the money. <laughs> he seen if the he sees the money, those guys will go. Absolutely. Well, we'll Let the big boys come. <laughs> <laughs>